Registered Phenomena Code 556 Containment Rating Alpha Lethality Rating White Hazard Types Temporal Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-556 is kept in an Alpha-class containment locker at Site-112's warehouse. Due to various cases of insider trading resulting from unauthorized uses of RPC-556, all testing has been banned until further notice. Description: RPC-556 is a 15-minute long film titled Lightning in a Bottle, recorded on, at the time, state-of-the-art panchromatic film stock on October 24, 1927. The film follows middle-aged stock trader Frankie Malone, otherwise referred to as RPC-556-A, during a workday at the New York Stock Exchange. Study of the film stock has not revealed any physical anomalous properties. Speaking to RPC-556-A at any point during the film will cause him to become aware of the viewer's presence. RPC-556-A has shown near flawless accuracy when predicting future stock prices from all conducted screenings. No type of continuity between screenings has been achieved, nor does RPC-556-A appear to remember past conversations with the viewers. Discovery RPC-556, alongside various other items, was found on November 27, 2021 within an abandoned storage unit purchased by the Authority. The unit was previously owned by the late Amin Siddiqui, former antique collector and suspected owner of various lesser anomalous objects. Initial review of the film, a single static shot of the NYSE's interior, revealed no apparent abnormalities. It was not until Dr. Lotz questioned the identity of the film centerpiece out loud in response to another researcher's question that RPC-556-A turned to greet him and answered the inquiry, startling all present staff. Screenings number 001 through number 004 Recorded Screenings RPC-556 Assisting Dr. Elias Lopes RPC-556-A Begin screening number 001 Dr. Lopes turns on the projector, with RPC-556 already inserted in. The title, Lightning in a Bottle, appears in bold lettering over a black background on the screen, followed by the date of recording. A crowd of stock traders is seen loudly speaking over one another while waving tickets. At its epicenter stands RPC-556-A, shuffling through stock certificates. RPC-556-A is a man in his late thirties, sporting a three-piece suit and derby hat common for men of his trade in the 1920s alongside a pencil mustache. Hello? RPC-556-A turns to face the camera and smiles at Dr. Lotes. Charlie? Hey, buddy, how are you? Hello? Who may this be? RPC-556-A raises an eyebrow and stays silent for a few seconds before answering. Are you feeling alright, buddy? Don't tell me you drank so much yesterday and you forgot about your old pal Frankie. Fancy clothes you got on, too came back from striking a deal with some pharmacy fellows? My name is Dr. Elias Lopes, and I am a researcher. I want to ask you a few questions. RPC-556-A sighs and rubs the bridge of his nose. Look, Charlie, I'm sure you have some incredibly funny pun for me right now, but I'm a bit busy at the… Another stock dealer interrupts RPC-556-A to share news of dropping AT&T prices. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow at work, Charlie. Take care. RPC-556-A walks out of frame as the screen cuts to black, displaying the end in bold letters for the remainder of the 15 minutes. It would appear interaction with RPC-556-A may cause the film to end prematurely. End screening number 001 Begin screening number 002 Dr. Loach was made to change out of his research attire and into his suit so as not to derail the conversation. The projector is turned on. The title, Lightning in a Bottle, appears as before, followed by the date of recording. The same loud crowd is seen as the film begins, with RPC-556-A at its epicenter, 
shuffling through stock certificates. Hello, uh, Frankie? RPC-556-A turns to face the camera and smiles at Dr. Lotes. Charlie, hey buddy, how are you? Dr. Lotes looks at overseeing research staff, who gesture for him to go along with it. Yeah, I've been, uh, doing fine. Yeah, how about you? RPC-556 spreads his arms and chuckles. <laughs> Sweating it out as usual. You know how it is around here. RPC-556 points a finger with a tilted head at Dr. Lopes. How about you? Still stuck on an AT&T flunk? Sure am, yeah, I, uh… Dr. Lopes looks at overseeing staff, who signal him to inquire RPC-556-A about stocks. Hey Frankie, would you mind helping me out for a second? RPC-556-A puts papers aside and leans on a table next to a ticker tape machine. Yes, of course I… Another trader tries to get RPC-556-A's attention, the same one as on the previous screening. Hey buddy, I'm busy here. Sorry about that, Charlie, you were saying? I've been thinking on investing in stocks recently, but I wanted your take on it first. The Office of Financial Affairs has asked for the names of companies discussed with RPC-556-A to be censored, to prevent possible insider trading from low-level staff with access to the documents. Like the fruit? RPC-556-A turns his head up and to the side, presumably looking for the company's name on the billboards. Tech company, but yes, they've been doing well recently, just released their new computer a week ago. Dr. Loach proceeds to provide an overview of the company. I think it may be worth betting on them now. RPC-556-A stays silent as he thinks for a few seconds, writing something on a piece of paper before throwing into a nearby trash can. I don't know, Charlie. I just got this bad taste in my mouth of the running of numbers, you know. It may seem smart to bet on a company just as the bread's coming out of the oven, but I think you're better off sitting this one out. If what you said about them is true, then I feel like there's going to be some issues once people start actually using the new hardware. It's a big shift from their previous models. A week following this conversation, factory defects resulted in thousands of models needed to be recalled, causing a dip in the company's stock price. Fair enough. Thanks, Frankie. Always. But I'll have to cut this talk short now. I'm seeing some Ford stocks calling my name. I'll see you tomorrow at work, Charlie. Take care. RPC-556-A exits the frame, and the same end title screen cuts in. The projector is turned off to finish the screening. End screening number 002. Begin screening number 003. Dr. Loach turns on the projector once again. The title screen and background noise plays as expected, with RPC-556-A in the middle of the frame. Frankie! Dr. Loach waves a hand toward RPC-556-A. RPC-556-A turns to face the camera and smiles at Dr. Loach. Charlie, hey buddy, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Hey, remember when we talked about… Stock? RPC-556-A frowns in confusion for a second. Like the fruit? Yes. RPC-556-A hums for a few seconds. No, I'm sure I remember us talking about fruit exports. RPC-556-A checks over his papers, but shakes his head after a few seconds of examination. Maybe you talked about this with Harold? Yeah, I think you're right. I must have mixed the conversations up. My bad. Hey, it happens to the best of us. <laughs> oh. Another stock trader the same one as screenings number 001 and number 002, makes his way over to RPC-556-A. I think someone's looking for me. I'll see you tomorrow at work, Charlie. Take care. Frame cuts to end screen, and the projector is shut down. End screening number 003. Begin screening number 004. Dr. Lotes turns on the projector once again. Intro and initial frames play out as usual. Hey, uh, Frankie. Dr. Loach shouts to get RPC-556-A's attention. RPC-556-A turns to face the camera and smiles at Dr. Loach. Charlie? Hey, buddy, how are you? Just fine. I… 
I know this may sound a bit odd, but has anything weird happened to you recently? Weird? Well, not really. Not that I can remember. I mean… RPC-556A smiles and shakes his head. Not unless you count that too-good-to-be-true job offer I told you about yesterday. Job offer? I don't think I remember you telling me about it, no. Really? Huh. I must have told the Herald or something instead. Happens to the best of us. RPC-556A snaps his fingers and chuckles. Now ain't that right. <laughs> RPC-556-A moves both hands in front of his body and draws them apart. It was some big, important fella from Los Angeles to think. I apparently blew him away with my amazing predictions for stock prices. Can't blame him. You're really something else. He thought the same thing. We did some business together for a while, and he looked pretty content with the results. Called me his show star. RPC-556-A makes quotation marks in the air with his fingers and offered me a position as its personal broker. I'm actually going to tidy up the details with him in a few hours. And what's his job about? That's the kicker. See, he told me I'd basically be doing, quote-unquote, what I do every day, give or take being on his call when he needs advice. I just need to go sign some papers at his studio. He even promised to show me some new cameras he got. Dr. Loach stays silent for a few seconds as he tries to formulate an answer. Oh, I, I see. Charlie, something wrong? Nah, it's… it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I hope you get the job. RPC-556-A smiles and nods his head. Feels good to know you always have my back, buddy. It's getting a bit late now, and I wouldn't want to miss my cab. I'll see you tomorrow at work, Charlie. Take care. RPC-556-A exits the frame, and the film ends as expected. End screening number 004. Screenings number 014 to number 016. Recorded screenings RPC 556. Assisting Dr. Elias Lodes, RPC 556A. Preface After various screenings spanning several weeks to test RPC 556A's accuracy at stock predictions, the assigned research team opted to continue the line of questioning regarding RPC 556A's current state. Begin screening number 014. Dr. Loach turns on the projector once again. Intro and initial frames play out as usual. Frankie, good evening. RPC-556-A turns to face the camera and smiles at Dr. Loach. Charlie? Hey, buddy, how are you? Doing fine myself, thanks. Hey, remember yesterday when you told me about that job offer? Sure do. What about it? Would you mind telling me a bit more about this fellow from Los Angeles? What, want a piece of the cake as well, Charlie? <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't dream of it, no, I'm just curious, is all. Don't sweat it, bud. I can put in a good word for you. Then we'll be back at it, shoulder to shoulder like the good old times, eh? RPC-556-A says as he fake punches in Dr. Loach's direction. Thanks, Frankie. I'm sure we can talk about that tomorrow. For now. Who's the mysterious benefactor? I know he's working in Los Angeles because… RPC-556-A waves his paper-holding hand around. Well, it's one of those things you just know. Like with Harold's cousin? See screening number 011. Damn right. Otherwise, he struck me with a wealthy old man from the Middle East, think Saudi Arabia, with the clothes to match. Maybe from one of those royal families? He seems pretty clueless about trading. But of course, I was there to save the day. You and your ego are something else. RPC-556-A shrugs and raises his hands. My beloved ego and I got ourselves a pretty impressive job, so to think I'm allowed a bit of boasting. Now if you excuse me, I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow at work, Charlie. Take care. RPC-556-A exits the frame, and the film ends as expected. The projector is turned off. End screening number 014. Begin screening number 015. Dr. Loach turns on the projector once again. Intro and initial frames play out as usual. Frankie, hey, good morning. Dr. Loach waves his hand at RPC-556-A. RPC-556-A turns to face the camera and smiles at Dr. Loach. Charlie? Hey, buddy, how are you? Fine, fine. Sorry for bothering. 
But do you remember that old guy from Los Angeles you told me about, yesterday? Don't worry, Charlie. There's nothing better than talking to a friend to relax from all the calamity here. But yes, I do remember. What about him? Do you happen to know where he works at, or what he does for a living? I… don't actually know for sure. RPC 556A scratches the back of his neck and chuckles. That doesn't sound good, I know. But hear me out. I got a contact from a guy who knows a guy working in Cali, who told him he was a big shot. Lots of money and nothing to do with it. I won't bore you with the details because we already talked about it yesterday, but from what I understand, he makes a living from funding archaeological expeditions and selling what's found. Doesn't sound like the type of person you'd see on Wall Street, does it? Does not, but I can't complain. Hell, he even gave one of those relics of the form of early payment. He did, and… what would that happen to be? Some shiny rock necklace they got from Mexico. Look. RPC-556-A takes a necklace from under his suit's collar and shows it to Dr. Lopes. It holds a circular gemstone tied with leather string. Told me it was used to keep some weird Aztec demon trapped inside a dream or some other tale. Frankie, you… Yelling begins to occur in the background as several stock traders begin talking over each other, raising papers in the air. Oh. I'm seeing a crowd forming at the back, and I better go check what it's all about. RPC-556-A begins to walk out of frame. I'll see you tomorrow at work, Charlie. Take care. Wait. The frame cuts to the end title screen. The projector is turned off to finish screening. End screening number 015. Begin screening number 016. Dr. Loach turns on the projector once again. Intro and initial frames play out as usual. Frank! Hey, Frankie! RPC-556-A turns to face the camera and smiles at Dr. Lopes. Charlie? Hey, buddy, how are… Frankie, remember you told me yesterday about this rich Los Angeles guy? Big shot? Funds expeditions and all? RPC-556-A frowns in confusion for a few seconds. Did I tell you all that? Harold told me a little, too. Ah, of course. Yeah, what about it? I think I heard someone say they saw you walking around with a fancy new necklace. Was that from him? RPC-556-A chuckles as he takes out the necklace. It was, actually. A little early payment. Something to quote, hold me down, unquote, while he finishes up the contract, he said. I think it was mighty generous of him. Dr. Loach stays silent for a few seconds while looking at overseeing staff, who gesture him to go on. Charlie, are you still there? RPC-556-A waves a hand in front of the camera. Y yeah sorry. Frankie, could you do me a favor, please? I'm asking you as a friend. Sure. Anything for you, bud. Can… can you take the necklace off for a second? Take it off? Why? RPC-556-A grabs the necklace and tries to get a better look at it. Just… uh… it's to check if it's authentic, you know? Light should pass through it if it's a real gemstone. Trust me. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. I didn't know about that now. RPC-556-A puts both hands around his neck. Now, let me see if I can take this thing… Frame suddenly cuts to black. Frankie? Are you there? Hello? Dr. Loach turns off the projector and turns it back on again. The title screen shows as expected but it is only followed by black, empty frames. Frankie? Fifteen minutes in, the screen remains black. Dr. Loach repeats this process five times until overseeing staff decide to terminate the testing. End screening number 016. Notes. Further examination of RPC-556's film stock reveals all frames to be completely black, besides the ending and intro title screens. At 5.32 p.m., one hour following the last screening test, news of a corpse appearing in the middle of the New York Stock Exchange during peak hours hits major news outlets all over the United States. Retrieval of the corpse from the local morgue was carried out by authority cells inside the police department. Oddly preserved despite its age, the corpse matches the profile of the late Frankie Oswald Malone, a missing persons case, dropped in 1930. Among the items alongside the corpse were 
a Mitchell Camera brand film recorder, a necklace holding an unidentified purple gem. Designated RPC 556B and currently under study. The corpse was buried at an undisclosed authority location in case of possible anomalous tampering, even after thorough examination. Dr. Lotes was permitted to attend the burial after forwarding a request to Site 112's director. RPC 556's documentation is pending revisal for the inclusion of RPC 556B and decommissioning of RPC 556A.